Hello everyone, Rob here, and in this video we're sort of going to be like behind the scenes kind of a, kind of a thing here on um, what kind of software that I use in order to uh, do live streaming. And uh, this program, this software, uh, is is beautiful. Uh, it's very clean, it's very simple, and it, I mean it's going to save you tons of time when it comes to uh, you know broadcasting live on either YouTube, Facebook Live as well as Periscope. It even has Periscope integration in it. So um, it makes it very nice. It, it also has the ability to uh, do a lot of things that you can do uh, pre-show that will help you out, especially during doing the live show and everything. So this program software will allow you to incorporate cameras, it will allow you to incorporate uh, desktop presentations, and it will also allow you to incorporate uh, pre-recorded videos that have audio files as well as uh, you know you can have the video just playing with no audio and uh, I'll sort of talk to you a little bit of what I do in order to try to have you know successful webinars and stuff but as, as you can see I mean just looking right here I mean it's it's all clear uh, I mean we have a nice clean desktop and uh, up at the up at the very top here, we have the the sound levels. That's where you can change the change the source. You can uh, adjust the volume. So if you're if you're peaking out too much, it will definitely let you know. Uh, and then you have the uh, echo cancellation. So that's for folks that don't have the headphones, and uh, maybe you're getting a little bit of feedback when uh, you're you're talking with people and stuff. Okay, uh, over that you see here on the far left right here that's the scenes okay uh, well we'll talk about the scenes how this can actually help you and prepare for a seamless uh, and organized uh, video presentation and then we have the the overlays here and we'll, we'll see what that is basically you can have uh, a title bar down here at the bottom you can have comments coming in and uh, you can display the comments uh, you can see that the the comments that you see right here in the bar uh, that's where when you're doing the live show you can see all the comments scroll in and you're able to display them uh, on the main screen for all the viewers to see okay and then we have a lot of nice uh, nice little simple buttons up here we have the camera we have the uh, share the screen and then we have the uh, where we can choose a video file to show okay yeah you'll notice that we do have a little picture in picture down here and uh, it makes that very nice as well. So uh, I'll go back to the main screen here. Well, what I always do um, when I'm trying to prepare for a, a webinar is, uh, you know, you want to have scenes, okay? And I have scenes uh, set up so that I can uh, demonstrate a software. You know, uh, in, in this example, this is a this is a program software that I that I demonstrate and. What you always want to do, and what I do anyway, before I go live, is I, I set up all my scenes. Okay, so I have the software program open that I want to demo. Uh, I can choose whether or not I want to have picture in picture uh, by this little icon here, and then I can choose uh, when, when I'm when I'm setting up the the scene here is I, I can choose to to have the certain application um, you know open. Okay, and then I always click on this button here that says uh, Zoom to application window all right and now you can see that I actually have a, a nice clean desktop and in in reality here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on my turn on my little webcam here just to just to show you that my my desktop here is uh, really kinda messy that has that program on it okay so you can see that I have uh, web pages I have uh, so, you know, Photoshop here open, and then I have Keynote over here. Uh, this is the real program that I'm, that I'm showing, you know, and, and the viewers get to see a nice, clean desktop, and that, that is beautiful. Now, you can see that I, I, can, I can resize this window here, and, you know, really, the, the viewers uh, would not see any of that, okay? Uh, you can see that I have stuff over here on my desktop. Uh, that's clearly not being shown uh, to the live viewers. Now you may ask your, yourself the the question here: uh, What about the the file menu system? I don't see that. Well, Ecamm takes care of that for us, so it only shows us 
when uh, you need to see it. So uh, all I would have to do is with the program selected and I can go up to the file menu and you can sort of see how Ecamm will essentially just zoom out. And again, you can see that I have a nice clean desktop. They don't get to see any of the files or anything like that. Uh, makes that just beautiful. So anyways, that's the, that's the desktop uh, in, uh, you know, in Ecamm. Uh, so you can see that I have several desk, you know, I have several scenes set up and I have um, a program one where I want to demo. I have the uh, the keynote slides where I can go ahead and go through the the slides um, just by, you know, clicking on a clicking on a slide there and uh, it will be shown to the viewer. So that's what I do on my end when I whenever I'm just playing a slide or anything, but uh, I have that scene set up very nicely so that I can just quickly go from the keynote slide. Now I can go back to demonstrating the program again. Okay. And then obviously, you know, if I, if I wanted, I can come back to the main screen here uh, very seamlessly, um, you know, going through these, these transitions. Okay, so real quick, I just want to show you real, uh, real briefly on how you would be able to create a, your own scene from scratch, so that you'd be able to have it all nice and set up for your webinar. So you'd be go ahead and click on the play button. So in, in this example here, we'll do uh, a web page that we're going to uh, be demonstrating something on, and we'd like to have a nice little title overlay on the the web page that we're viewing to show people where they can go in. Uh, visit. Okay, so uh, with these scenes here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the plus button, and that's going to allow me to create a new scene. And uh, I'm I'm just going to label this test scene. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, I need to show the desktop, but I need to show the uh, the program. Okay, and the program that I'm using in this is going to be uh, Safari. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this right here. So it's a, it's a desktop. Uh, I want to go ahead and choose, not current application, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and choose Safari. All right. And my picture in picture, I'd like to have that over here in, in the corner. Okay. Now, I would also like to have my viewers, uh, you know, see clearly what website URL I'm using. So um, I want to display that down there at the, at the bottom. Okay, so let me go ahead uh, and grab the, the URL. I'm just going to copy this to the clipboard. And I'm going to go ahead and click this button here where we can add a, a little text overlay. Okay, and this is where I get to type my text out. And we're able to change the font, font size, and, and everything else. I'm going to go ahead and click on the, the Add button and see uh, how that looks. Okay, so let me go ahead and go over there. And you can sort of see that is right there in the center. So uh, not very, uh, very visible whatsoever. So we can increase the size here. And really, I can't see it on this on this kind of background. So, what options do we have? Uh, let's go ahead and I double clicked, and I'm going to go ahead and go into the um, the background here, the little check mark here. I'm going to go ahead and check mark it. I'm going to go ahead and click on save, and, and now I can see that a whole lot better. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it down here so that my viewers can know what website I'm going to. So now my scene is all set up and I can reference it when I'm ready for the webinar. Okay, so it is now saved, and now I can go back to this live screen here, and when I'm live doing my webinar, I can go ahead and click on this one right here, and you can see how smooth of a transition that is. Uh, we didn't have to do anything on the spot, on the fly. Uh, it just does it all for us because we were prepared uh, for this scene, and we knew exactly when we wanted to to call that scene up uh, at a click of a button. So, and then you can just go ahead and go back to, to the main camera. Um, I mean, I, I tell you, this is going to be a time saver for some of you folks that uh, want to share your screen. Uh, Man, total, total, total time saver. Now, the the other thing that we set up here, or um, you know, that I set up anyway, pre set up is. Uh, videos. A lot of times when you're demoing software, 
Uh, there could be some hiccups, maybe something didn't go right, because doing, uh, doing a live webinar, sometimes it does take up a lot of resources and, uh, and everything. So I, I did a lot of pre-recording of some of the videos. And uh, Ecamm allows me to uh, say, for example, I wanted to go ahead and uh, click on uh, you know this video here. Okay, we'll do uh, we'll do this video, and it cues it up. You can see that my my screen over here goes right back over here, and then I I am presented with the play button. I have mine set up where it does not autoplay. Uh, obviously, you would be able to set yours up as autoplay. Okay, but uh, the viewers will not see um, see the play button or anything like that. They will th see uh, that the video clears day, and uh, you, you know you can click play and you can demonstrate this. And this is what I did. I just talked during the live show while I had the video playing in the background, and my hands are free, and it allows me to make sure that we're not making any mistakes demonstrating a, a product. Um, you know, or demonstrate on how to do something. So uh, I did a lot of pre-recording utilizing ScreenFlow, where I was recording the desktop, and then in the in the webinar I was doing a live uh, audio. Okay, so I did do the audio live, but the demonstration was recorded, and you know, folks really can't tell the difference when in when they're looking at uh, the video and it being streamed. So. Um, Beautiful integration there, and then again, I can just go back to uh, my my keynote, or I can go back to the main camera, and you know, just continue on with the the rest of the lesson. Now, the video files they are able to have audio, so uh, if you didn't want to speak during that, uh, absolutely, you can set up the scene where the the microphone would be muted, and uh, you know, the, the video would play with just sound. So um, works out great, great, great. Now, the, the commenting. So uh, I did do a, a live webinar the other day, and, uh, you know, comments will roll in, and they will all be displayed over here on, on, the, on the far right. So uh, you, if you see this box right here, that will start getting filled with comments once you go live. And uh, to sort of show you what what that would look like, uh, you know, someone's comment coming in, you will you'll see where you're able to um, on the comments, you'll be able to create an overlay, and it will show up over here in the overlay section, and you're able to toggle it on and off, and again, you're able to uh, move this around uh, to where it would be nice and visible for folks. Uh, you know, watching it live, okay? Um, I did notice that, uh, you know, utilizing this software, there's uh, a little bit of a delay, I'd say maybe like 5, 10 seconds, but the, the comments that come in, they, they are very instant, okay? So uh, you, you may have spoken, you know, 5, 10 seconds and a comment pop up on something that you said 10 seconds ago, but you can always like circling back to the, the comments, bringing them in there live, and it has their nice little photo associated with that, and it, it pulls that from, from Facebook or YouTube uh, and, you know, Periscope, okay? Uh, you are able to uh, create overlays yourself by bringing in images. Uh, you know, you can do text overlays, you can do image overlays, and uh, this is like an image overlay, okay, where you can just bring it in. And then uh, a, a text overlay would be uh, you know, maybe you wanted to do like lower thirds and stuff and, uh, you know, you can put, put that in there. Okay. Or create a, you know, bring in an image that has a, a lower third and then just type your text on top and, uh, makes that very nice. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you can do streaming to Facebook, you can do it to YouTube and Periscope. And again, what's all nice is you're, you are able to see all those comments there. All right. Um, with Facebook, you can, um, you know, obviously you got Facebook there. Uh, destination, you can do postings as pages. Uh, you can do postings to groups. And you can even do scheduled uh, events, which makes it nice. You'd be able to add the description there. And uh, if we were to do like a, a scheduled one, this little pop-down shows up. 
Who do you want to broadcast to? Uh, you can click only you, friends, everyone, uh, and, and so on. Uh, you'd be able to add a picture image as well, and then you can uh, choose your start time. All right. Now, as far as the, uh, if you're ever wanting to try to test things out, uh, I always, you know, that, that's why they give you the broadcast to only me. So none of your friends or anybody would be able to view it. They're not going to get notified. And it's a great way for you to test out the, the system. But, uh, but yeah, if you, if you guys found this, uh, you know, this program interesting, go ahead and take a look down below in the link. Uh, you'll see that you would be able to download the, the you know free little trial with it and then use it for the trial. Then I mean, if you go ahead and get it, I think um, right now it's about $40. And uh, it's just a one-time payment, and you don't have to uh, pay for any updates and upgrades. Their company believes a one-time payment uh, philosophy and unlimited updates and upgrades as long as they're, they're continuing to design the stuff. Uh, I know questions that a lot of people ask, is there any way to uh, get uh, a secondary person on here so you can have like a, a group webinar uh, with multiple people? You are able to utilize a, a Skype integration, okay? Uh, it is a separate download that you'd have to get. It's called Call Recorder for Skype. And then Skype is obviously free, and you're able to bring in, I think, five more people, maybe five or six more people, uh, but, you know, your your photos will be in its own own little corners. If you got two, you know you'll be split screen, uh, and then you're able to uh, adjust the the other ones as they pop in. But a very neat uh, neat program, especially if you're into doing live broadcasts and you want to keep things simple. And, and remember that uh, the scenes will make your webinar or your uh, live stream go a lot smoother. Uh, just presetting everything all up beforehand. So all you have to do is click on what scene you need to show next. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, this video. Again, take a look in the description if you're interested in the software. Uh, you, you can't beat the price and you can't beat the support that's out there for this. So uh, until next time, hey, thanks for watching.